Welcome to Jackets TV presented by Ohio Health. I'm Jeff Rimmer and a distinct pleasure and uh, quite frankly an honor to uh, officially introduce the new uh, president of hockey uh, for the Columbus Blue Jackets and uh, alternate governor John Davidson officially joined the family today. John, welcome. And why Thanks. Columbus with so many opportunities to go back into television and join other well, National Hockey League you, organizations? You talked me into it. That's oh, yeah. <laughs> do I get the blame here? Well, full disclosure here is that Jeff and I you know I've known each other for a long, long time. In fact, we went high, to high school together many, many years ago in Calgary and have remained friends over the years. And I know one part of this thing, and I'm serious about this, is my family, uh, we did our research. And you've always been a very strong advocate of uh, the Columbus area and the Blue Jackets organization, and that weighed into it. Um, I, I think, aside from that, uh, is that when I look at the whole picture, it's an ideal situation for myself and my family And that we are coming over from St. Louis. We love St. Louis, a great city. Everybody says Columbus is very similar to St. Louis, 20 minutes to get anywhere, people are wonderful, the whole thing. And then I look at the uh, Jackets organization and I see the, the facilities and, and what you need for a team to become a championship team and it's all there. It's very strong ownership, it's a great building, it's a great way to travel, it's a great locker room. Everything from A to Z is there. All we have to do is, uh, through hockey operations, is devise a plan, stick to the plan, and we'll get there. And when we get there, we plan on being there for a long time. So it's a, it's a process that I'm willing to jump into, and I quite look forward to it. What's the first order of business? Meeting tomorrow morning, 9 o'clock, with, uh, with hockey operations, and go over, uh, have kind of a hot stove, and just talk about philosophies and talk about, about what our thoughts are. Um, you know, we all know there's a lockout, a very disappointing lockout on right now, so there's no hockey being played at the NHL level. But if that's the way it is and it's out of our hands, then let's get our, get our, uh, get our act in order and keep working. And, and uh, as I've mentioned throughout the day, this is a very important season for the Blue Jackets hockey or no hockey, knowing that they have the draft picks that they have put into place. And so there's going to be a lot of research and... Uh, and preparation for the draft it's a huge draft so things along those lines uh, we can get taken care of right away again uh, knowing you for as long as i have and knowing you uh, certainly as a hall of fame broadcaster preparation was awfully important mm -hmm. to you you've obviously uh, prepared uh, to join the jackets and become president of the hockey club talk in terms of some of the things that uh, priority wise you have planned here initially well i'll back it up into trying to find out whether in my own mind it was a fit for myself and family and remember it has to be a family because it's not just you it's your family that's moving and and uh, in talking to John McConnell and having an understanding of what his family has meant to the Columbus area and how much he wants this team to succeed in this city uh, plays into it. Other owners that they have on the club I've, I've met and spent time with and really enjoyed them. So that's all good. Now, when I, when I think about the club, um, it, it's a question of having an understanding. And I've used this analogy all day long, and I used it in St. Louis when we first got there. And our club in St. Louis was 30th when we started. But the only way you're going to build a good club is you have to build it strong, you have to have a strong foundation. And, and I use this the, the, the line, and I use it a lot, and I think it's proper, and that is one brick at a time. And so we're going to sit down and have a lot of discussions about what bricks we have here, what bricks we need, and how we're going to do that, building it one brick at a time. And we're not going to deviate from that plan. I'm just telling you right now, we're not. Bluejackets.com, of course, a uh, very popular website, and we've asked uh, Blue Jacket fans to send in their questions for John Davidson. I'll take this question first, and the uh, Blue Jackets organization has a lot of challenges that it's overcome in the past, but there are certainly more, John, that will be faced in the near and distant future. What challenge or challenges are you most eager to take on upon joining the organization? Uh, it, it's everything. It's everything. I know how many points this team had last year. I know what, you, what it takes to get into the playoffs. And I know what it takes to get from that point to that point. And it's, 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 it's aggressive patience, if that makes sense. You want to be aggressive as an organization in the way you play. You want to be aggressive in, in doing your research. You want to be aggressive in working with players to get them in better shape, uh, whether they're here or in, in the minors. You, you want to be aggressive, but you also want to be patient with your plan. And that's the way we're going. 
Uh, another question here, and uh, this is from a father. My son is a high school goaltender yeah. who aspires one day to manage a National Hockey League team. Yeah. Of course, he'd love to play in the NHL, but uh, that's against the odds. If he was your son, John, what advice would you offer to set him on the path to making his dream a reality? Well, go to school. Go to school for sure and get every bit of uh, knowledge through education you possibly can because that'll help you anywhere you go. And if you want to sidetrack uh, while you're doing your schooling and get into hockey, start anywhere. Start, start on the bench as a stick boy if you have to. Uh, there's the plenty of success stories in our game where, where people have gone to an organization and, and worked their way up. Uh, a classic example would be Doug Armstrong who won General Manager of the Year last year with right. the St. Louis Blues. He started many years ago with the Minnesota North Stars in a very low level job. But he worked his way up and worked his way up and was patient and took advantage of an opportunity. And, and that's what, uh, you know, you need breaks, but you work for breaks. But you have to start somewhere. It doesn't matter if it's a high school team or a college team or whatever team. And you have to stay with it. One more question. And uh, what intrigued you most about Columbus before you made your decision? It's not that easy where it's just one or two things. It's, it's everything. And again, I talked about this earlier today. You take a notepad and you draw a line right down the middle and you try to weigh the pros and cons. There are no cons. No, I know what the job is, trying to improve the team, but the city itself, the easy access of getting around in the city, the facility here, the strength of ownership and the ownership group, uh, the passion that's in this city, the want for, for a winner to be here. It, it all, you, you sense all this. So when you start, you know, city, check. Uh, strength of ownership, check. Um, the, the want that the people in the city have, have as sports fans for the Blue Jacks to succeed, check. It's all check, check, check. The facility, check. The locker room, check. Everything, check, check, check. There's no negatives over there. So when that became apparent to me and uh, I knew that things were changing in St. Louis, this is just for me, it's an easy, easy decision. Well, it was an easy decision for the Blue Jackets. It's an organization. Welcome. Great Thank to have you, you in town. And uh, this is going to lead to bigger and better things for the franchise. Looking JD, good there, big boy. You. Looking good. You know, not as good as you, man. <laughs> Welcome. You. Good seeing you. John Davidson, president, alternate governor of your Columbus Blue Jackets. And that's uh, Jackets TV. I'm Jeff Rimmer. Thanks for joining us.